Hey, it's Paul from howtonetwork.com. So did you know the Comte Security Plus exam has around a 50% failure rate or 50% pass rate, depending on how you look at it? If you don't believe me, just take a look at some of these posts. Now all of these people studied hard, they probably bought video courses, read books uh, and eventually took the exam and it's almost $400 now and then they failed. Now some of these people as you can see fell several times. So where did they go wrong? Well if we take a look at the people who posted when they passed, they did something different. The difference is the people who passed had a strategy. So in this video I'm going to share with you a strategy you will use to get a guaranteed pass. So does any of this sound familiar? You pick up a study guide, you read for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, and then you forget everything you've previously read. It's as if you never actually read anything about the Security Plus. Now you eventually give up, put your book away, and then the next day you repeat the same process. Reading the book, trying to get the information to sink into your brain, it doesn't work, on and on and on. Now so many people who post and fail say they just tried the exam, had an attempt because they got frustrated and they thought well what have I got to lose and obviously they almost always fail. So in this video I'm going to share with you my guaranteed pass strategy. This is going to take away all of the guesswork, you're going to walk into the exam knowing that you're going to pass barring any emergencies. This exam pass strategy will work not only for Comdia but also works for Microsoft, Cisco or in fact any other exam. So what we're going to do is work the strategy and then we're going to get the results that all of the people who passed got. Now using this strategy takes away all the emotion out of studying and it also takes away all of the guesswork. You'll tick off the charts that we'll go through in a bit and then you'll know you're ready or not ready and what you need to improve on. So this strategy uses your three main learning techniques and we all have one main learning technique out of the three and then we'll have a secondary one and then possibly another one. The first one is kinesthetic. This is where you learn best by hands-on. So rather than reading a book, you'll go and for example look at a car engine, take it apart and put it back together, you're a kinesthetic learner so you'll learn best by doing labs for example for IT exams. The second way is auditory so you'll listen to somebody talking about a particular topic for example a lecture. The next one is a visual learner so you will watch a presentation and you will take information in that way. Our learning technique is going to address all of these three so you definitely will retain the information. As you go through the strategy this information will transfer from short-term memory over to long term. We're going to go round and round in a circle of learning until the information is actually easy to recall in exams or IT job interviews. So here are the steps. Step one, write out the entire exam syllabus and put it into a spreadsheet. I like to use Google Sheets personally. You put each main exam topic, the subtopic and then any areas. Next, you will score each syllabus topic from zero or one to 10. Zero or one means very poor knowledge, 10 means outstanding, you know, everything you need to know about it. You're going to create two columns. One column is for your theory knowledge, the other one is for your hands-on skills. Now I understand some topics, for example collecting documentation, will be non-applicable. So if it's not applicable for hands-on, just put NA in that column, otherwise you've got your two columns. For example configuring DHCP or uh, port security on Cisco switches, you need to know your theory, you need to do your labs and then mark each column separately. Now before you're ready for the exam you need to have at least a 9 in both columns. So 9 for your theory and 1 and at least 9 for your hands on um, your hands on skills. Thanks for watching the video. Please go over to howtonetwork.com, check out all our IT certification courses, practice exams and live Cisco racks. There's a $1 coupon in the description. Step 2. Allocate two hours per day until you pass the exam. I know it's difficult to find two hours, but you need to turn off the TV, turn off social media, get up early, work through lunch breaks, whatever you have to do. For most IT exams, you're only going to have to do this for one to two months, even for the Cisco CCNA, and then you'll pass, have a bit of time off, and then go for your next exam. So every day, speaking of the work, you're going to be doing a few things. You're going to be reading some theory, or watching a video, there's lots of free ones on YouTube, or you might be a member of a website, such as howtonetwork.com, my website. Then you're going to do a hands-on lab relevant to the subject. So if you're reading about port security, do the theory, and then you do a hands-on lab 
uh, about that particular topic. If you're doing the Security Plus or any CompTIA exam, in fact, I've got a 101 Labs book. Just uh, Google it on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description where we walk you through all of the hands-on configurations. So that's step three. Part of step three is also doing a practice exam every day. Now this is the mistake people make. They wait until a day or two or a week before they take the exam. They do a practice exam, they score really badly, and it could be too late to actually reschedule the exam and they start to panic. Don't do that. From day one, take practice exams. You'll do really poorly because you haven't read the theory yet, but don't worry. Practice exams are a study tool. Later on, they become an exam readiness tool, but from day one, they're a study tool. So please do practice exams from your very first day. Step four, write out your own cram guide. Now, I know you can download cram guides if you're lucky from certain websites. I suggest you write out your own in Google Docs or in Word. I'll put up an image of my Cisco CCNA cram guide. I wrote that out. It's actually 30 pages, but it still counts as a cram guide when you consider most Cisco study guides, for example, are 600 to 1,000 pages. So this is all your main port, your standards, your commands. Anything you want to put in there, it's your cram guide. Now, that cram guide, as it grows, you will read it every day. And before you take the exam, you must know everything on that cram guide by heart and be able to write it out from memory. Step five, so you're almost there now. Every day you will go through the syllabus, maybe just one or two items on the syllabus, just depends how much you already know and how much time you have. You will do a lab, you'll do some theory and a practice exam. Round and round and round and round, going up from the top and all the way down. So the first time you go from top to bottom, you're getting two or three. As you go around three and four, five and six, seven, eight, once you've got something on your spreadsheet to number 9 or 10, stop studying, just look at it now and again, and eventually everything will be up to level 9 in both columns. So that's it in a nutshell. This is my strategy, just work the strategy, it takes away all the emotion, theory, labs, exams, read your cram guide every day, go around, around, around until you reach level 9 or 10. You must be getting around 90 to 95% in your practice exams, and then you know you're ready. If you've got any of the tips, if you've got any ideas or disagree with what I'm saying, please drop a comment and I'll answer you and give you my honest opinion. 